there quilting friends this is Carolina no Moore your favorite sewing and quilting youtuber and today I'm talking about two new products and three new patterns that I haven't really mentioned here yet and I feel really bad about it so we're gonna catch up get you caught up on all the new happenings here at Carolina no Moore patterns you ready let's get started Okay friends, we're gonna start with the two new products that I have. These are already at distributors, so if you know someone who has a quilt shop, they may already have these in stock, and if not, they should be able to get them in stock very, very quickly. So we're gonna talk about these. The first is the Purse Light. This is such a fun little product because we've all been making bags and purses now that we have the box bag template and we are in love with making all the bags and purses. I wanted some really fun, like quilty, bag accessories and this is the first one so this is a purse light you take it out and you pop this so that the battery will um, engage and then it becomes a light it does also have a little red flasher which my kids think is are really fun to <laughs> signal me down but there we go it has a light a little red flasher and then it has this magnetic clasp to hold it together. So this is great for putting on a bag. So like I've got the zippered pouch here and I can put it on the zippered bag and I can put it cute quilty side out or I can put it light side out to be able to use this as a light while I'm sewing. Cool thing about this as well is I can also hook it to, if I'm wearing a lanyard, it can go on a lanyard. If I'm wearing a shirt, it can go on a shirt. And now I can light up what I'm doing right from my shirt, which makes it super handy. It's not just a purse light. The other cool thing about it is, let me switch this around here, either on my purse or here on myself as I'm sewing and I need to put my needle down it's a needle minder. So I don't necessarily always like needle minders on my clothes because I forget they're there and then I end up still poking myself. So I put this right here on my bag and I have a needle minder right on my bag. So, so handy. So this purse light is a, both a light and a needle minder. It clips to exterior pockets on your bag. It can also just tuck in your bag, super simple love this little purse light. So that's the first of the products. Um, I have all the links to all these down below, but you can also ask your local quilt shop if they'll carry it. And that way you can support your local quilt shop at the same time. Next product, and this one I'm so excited about, uh, this is the Cut Anywhere tabs. These are the most ridiculous little, handiest little invention ever. Um, I can't really claim to invent these because it really is an existing product out there, but I got them packaged and made for us in the quilting industry. So let's talk about what these are. I'm gonna open up the Cut Anywhere tabs. They come five in a package. Uh, you will want to stock up on these and they're not expensive. So I'm gonna open up this package and spill these out. And these may look slightly familiar to you. They are the little metal tabs that we have on our dental floss. That's right. So I went with a um, dental manufacturer to get these manufactured and I made sure they put a little hole in them for us. And that hole is key on these because now you can take these tabs and you can sew them on anything you want. So here, let's see, oh, it's hidden on this little bag right here. I have this little thread cutting tab sewn right on the outside of my bag. So I have my needle minder and then also if I have my thread and I want to give it a cut, I just put it on that tab and it cuts my thread. So I have a little thread cutter with me wherever I go. You can put this on your existing bag that you use or kit that you use for binding. You can attach one to a needle book. You can attach them to pin cushions. I'm going to show you how to do that in a second. Um, these are so, so handy. So let's go ahead and attach one to this pincushion. I'm gonna show you how easy it is. 
First thing is to decide what direction you want your tab to go. I like it usually to go towards the outside, so I'm pulling in, but that's up to you. I have a double layer of thread, and I'm going to start by bearing my thread off over here and bringing it up. So I'm gonna let those little threads get lost. And then this is just as easy as sewing on a button. I'm just going to stitch. And you can do as many stitches as you can fit through that hole. I've used 12 weight thread to stitch these on and at some point there's just too much thread through that hole so you can't get all the thread through that hole but you can stitch this quite a few times and I'll show you some samples in a second. So we're just gonna stitch. And I stitch these in three directions. So I've done right, left, and now I'm going to do behind so it doesn't pivot quite so much. So just three little stitches should probably be fine. And then I can go off and bury my thread here. And if I want, I can just cut that thread with my cutting tab and I can trim that close later. So it's that easy to add a little cutting tab to your existing bags, your existing pincushions, whatever you like. If you want something a little more decorative, I've been playing with decorative ideas. So let me show you this little embroidery hoop that I have here. And this one I stitched on and then I covered that bottom part with some fun stitches. This one I did some little lazy daisies. This one I was just more intentional about the three sides. And this one I was working on doing like an applique edge stitch um, on the edges. So you'll come up with your own favorite ways to add these on. I have a pin cushion that I've been playing with where I actually did a wagon wheel rose over that edge of um, the Cut Anywhere tab and it hides that Cut Anywhere tab and adds a really fun decorative element. So I'll go ahead and show you that here so you can see how cute that is. Um, super fun. So those are the two new products. The purse light that is also a great needle minder, the cut anywhere tabs that you can also attach to any of your bags, lanyards, aprons, um, you can put it on a decorative hoop, you can put it on a pincushion, you can put it all the places. Um, it's so handy and they come five to a pack and they're super inexpensive so you'll want to buy a bunch of packs and just keep them everywhere and then you'll have a cutting surface wherever you are, wherever you need, just cut your thread. Okay, the new patterns that I want to show you. The first one you've actually already seen because the pattern itself launched as a kit with Art Gallery Fabrics um, earlier this year and that is the Wildflower Bouquet Quilt. We are working on a series of videos putting this together. I have so many videos that I'm getting ready for y'all for Advent and for the 2024 calendar so these are up next-ish but there are a lot of videos coming uh, for me to film to get to you over the next year so we're gonna work on this one as well and try to get you step-by-step -step videos but the pattern is now available so here is the pattern and I'm gonna show you just a little bit of this it's full color takes you through all the different steps of putting this together. It even has a coloring page that you can increase the size of. It has a swatch sheet so that you can add your swatches if you want. Um, and it has instructions for turning this quilt into a queen size bed quilt. This quilt is 60 inches wide by 80 inches tall. It's a big quilt. Um, and it is all one, basically like one big block. It uses 90 sheets of foundation paper to print this out. So 90 sheets of foundation paper will get this printed out for you um, and then you can put it all together. This is probably my favorite quilt that I've made and I don't say that lightly. Um, I've made a lot of quilts and I love so, so many of them, but um, th this quilt is one that I'm looking forward to making a second time and then filming that process and recording it so that y'all have um, me holding your hand as you put this together. But this pattern is now available for sale and you can ask your local shop about ordering the kits through Art Gallery Fabrics for this quilt as well. 
Okay, so we have um, two new products, one new pattern. Let's talk about the other two new patterns. These ones, much smaller than the Wildflower Bouquet, but just as fun. Okay, the first is this pleated pincushion. And why a pleated pincushion? I'm so glad you asked. So the pleats allow you to add all of your fabulous wonder clips on your pincushion. So you can have a pincushion for your pins, as well as for, or for your clips, as well as for your pins and your needles. And of course, I stitched a cut anywhere tab on there because now this is the perfect pincushion to use for binding because you put your binding clips, your needle, and you've got a thread cutter on there. So it's great for hand sewing projects. I love this little pincushion. So this is the pleated pincushion. It is a postcard pattern. So as a postcard pattern, all the instructions fit right on the back of a postcard. Super simple, easy color, um, illustrated directions on how to put together your pleated pincushion pattern. Okay, so pleated pincushion. The other, this is just a fun one to make, is the glasses case pattern. Also, postcard pattern, which are less expensive and they're super simple patterns. Both of these, by the way, they use the box bag template. All of my postcard patterns are box bag template patterns. And this one, I actually fit the instructions for two different sizes of glasses case in there. So this one is for um, sunglasses, bigger glasses. So glasses case for bigger glasses and sunglasses. And then this one is for smaller like readers. These are a little bigger than a standard reader, but they'll still fit right in there. So this is for your readers to be able to tuck those in your purse. And now you can use your favorite fabrics to make little sunglasses case. For the curve and the dart, this does use the box bag template. So it doesn't look like a bag making pattern and it's not a bag pattern, but it is super simple, super easy. Love these little glasses cases. So there you go. Those are the new things that I have for you. I wanted to get you caught up on all of those. Um, make sure that you check with your local quilt shop about ordering these. If you don't have a local quilt shop, I do have links below where you can buy them from me on my website and I'll get them shipped out to you ASAP. Friends, if you're not subscribed to this channel, make sure you're subscribed. Give this video a thumbs up because that helps YouTube see it and share my videos with others. I'm really working to grow this channel. Um, it's a great way to reach out to quilters and really sit with you in your homes. Because right now, for me, I'm here in my studio, but I'm also with you in your home, in your car, at your office, somewhere I'm hanging out personally with you and I love being able to have that connection with you. So the more people I'm able to reach this way, the more we can connect and I just, I love that. So subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. Put any questions or comments down below. I love hearing and seeing, I guess I hear them in my head, but I see and read all your comments and um, it really makes my day that y'all are choosing to come and connect back with me as well. Thanks so much for watching my friends. I'll see you right here real soon. Bye for now.